Hey, hustlers, come on in with your hood, girl. Come on in, y'all. I got something different today on this Friday. No seafood day. Come on, come on in. Come on, come on, come on, come on in. Come on in, y'all. Hey, y'all. Uh-oh. Did y'all see that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that got all on here, y'all. We got to get that off of there. Y'all ready? Let's roll the credits. Come on in. Bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. Bring your food and snacks. Let's sit and chat with who? Me. This hood, girl. To the hood, y'all. Y'all see what we eating? Yeah. We got hot dogs today on this Friday. Let's say prayers. Thank you, God, for this another beautiful, blessed day. Oh, my God, I just say thank you for loving me and keeping me. Thank you for mercy and grace. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. How y'all doing on this Friday? What y'all eating? Comment below. Y'all, let's toast for a good weekend. I'm ready. Cheers. <laughs> salute, salute. Let's sip, sip this good water. Cheers. I'm ready, ain't I? So, y'all, we have some hot dogs. And this is how I like to do my hot dogs. There you go. Yum, yum, give me some. Yes, y'all. Uh, I like, ch I have chili, cheese, red onion, tomatoes, pickles, jalapeno peppers, spicy mustard. Yeah, I think that's all. So let me give y'all your first bite. Yes, y'all, it's going to be messy. Uh, I got some Lay's potato chips over there. Take a bite. Oh, yeah. Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I knew it was going to be messy. So, how y'all doing today? How was y'all week? Mm hmm the last three days were busy, busy, busy for me. Really busy. That's good. I have no plans um, for this weekend. I think I'm going to do one run tomorrow. And that's it. I need to go to the meat market. That's what I need to do. But I'm not going to the south side. So I got to get it from the store. Which I don't want to, though. Y'all, this hot dog. And these buns are so freaking soft. I probably need a, uh, yeah, because it's, it's breaking at the end. I need a fork. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That bread so fresh the wind is coming out on the bottom. I'll be right back, y'all. Yeah, I bought some new boss tools and I don't know if I like them. Still trying to. I think I'm too far away. Mm, that's better.
who eat their hot dogs with a fork. I'm only doing it, y'all, because look, the bread already tore. Darn. It's just that fresh, though. I see everybody doing the uh, wing stop thighs. Everybody seem to like them, though. Mm-hmm. I'm not really a thigh girl. I don't know if I'm going to do them or not, though. But y'all know. Okay, so y'all know normally Fridays is my seafood day. I did not want no seafood. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. It never fails. Y'all know last Friday. Y'all haven't seen it yet, though. I did those shrimp. And, yeah, I, I threw some of them away. I think I'm getting tired of seafood, especially shrimp for some reason. But I still have some blue crabs and shrimp in the freezer. So I just don't know. I don't know. Nobody had them snow crabs on sale. Just go around. That's good. A good homemade hot dog. Mm, mm, mm. And as y'all see, I like it Chicago style. These pickles, these tomatoes, is everything. The jalapenos. As y'all already know, minute bread. I was thinking about doing a boneless hot dog. <laughs> Just every, everything on it like I have, but no bread. I was talking to my grandchildren uh, a moment ago, and my grandson said something, and it really pierced my heart. He said, uh, Grandmother, can you buy me a new brain? And I'm thinking, like, why would you say that? He said, because the one I have is bad. It make me do bad things. Man, that broke my heart, y'all. He said, I'm on the Jesus brain. I said, baby, you already got the Jesus brain. Stop. And so when I listened to his mom, she 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 always said, oh, he's just so evil. Uh, 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 my granddaughter's so evil. So when I'm listening to my granddaughter, she said, he's so evil when you uh, put that in their head. That's what they believe. It broke my heart. It really broke my heart. Mm. You got to listen to your children more now than ever, you know? More now than ever. Oh yeah, I'm getting full. Mm. I have a topic. I know um, times have changed. People have changed. The mindsets have changed. Relationships has changed. And now look at these young folk. These girls. 
young ladies. And they don't mind taking care of a man. Where did that come from? Mm -mm. Back in the day, our days, men were taught to take care of their wives. Today, women take care of the men. I can't make myself do that. <laughs> I cannot make myself do that. I will not take care of a man. Now, if we're married, that's different. Just saying, if he lost his job, then I, I'll I'll do I'll do what I have to do to survive for the both of us. But if he have health and strength to work, <laughs> he better work. You know, the the Bible says if you if if uh if you don't have no job, you can't eat. <laughs> mm hmm. Teach your daughters they are better than that. If he, uh, that man, can't do nothing for her, he the wrong man. Especially in dating. You know what I mean? You know, even when, when I was looking at uh, Ready to Love, when Kyra and AJ met the first time, I think he uh, left his card at home on purpose and she had to pay for the dinner. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. However, this is the second part. When men ask me out for a date, you ask me out, you're going to pay for it. If I call you and I say, what you doing? Let's go get a bite. Let's go, go get a bite to eat. I'll pay for it sometime, but not all the time. Mm -mm. But relationships today is give and take. But don't take care of no man. I think people forgot because um, they listen to society and society teaches a lot of people because they don't open up their Bibles. Men were made to be warriors, to take care of their wives, their homes, their children. Women were made to have the children, to take care of her husband, to do a whole lot of things, actually. That's, that's, that's why we can multitask. Don't change the script, y'all, because the Bible's still the same. The society just said you don't have to do it no more. Oh, y'all, don't forget to uh, pray for the sick and shut in. I'm glad I wanted to have dogs, y'all. Mm -hmm. That's bomb.
Y'all, I better do my B Love uh, sauce before it, it, uh, it uh, expires, huh? I don't think it expires till next year, though. But I haven't had a big seafood bar that I want to do it for. Got two minutes, y'all think I can finish it. <laughs> y'all, I gotta do my hair. I don't know when I'm gonna do it. Right now, I'm wigging it. <laughs> yep, I'm wigging this hair. Sure is. This is just so good. I saw a uh, U-Haul this morning. They parked the truck at 8 o'clock. It's still that. They, they didn't start moving. I think they was waiting for something. That truck sat there for six hours before they started loading it up. For me, I have uh, one guy that he's a brilliant mover, and that's the only one that I share out. Cause uh, I know my stuff gonna be okay, whether I move out of town or in town. So he's the only one I use. We don't sit. We don't sit for all them hours. And when the guy got, you know, because when you do you how you can also hire movers. And he took his pallet out, I guess, to write down what everything they're going to be moving. But I guess the owner, well, whoever they, whoever they moving was in, in, in order. I would have been, I would have been pissed. You hear me? And uh, mm -mm. oh y'all, that was time. But I, I ate that food. Can y'all see my? Well, it's too late to adjust it now. Ain't that on this plate though, y'all? Look at that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna. Oh, it's time for a drink now, honey. It's seven o'clock. My time. Mm-hmm. It's time to fix that bank, okay? Mmm. This is good. Oh, y'all, excuse me. Mmm. Look how seen y'all. I'm about to have me a good cocktail. And some good music. On the patio, the weather here is so good. It's in the 70s. In July. The climate has changed. That's for sure. Y'all ready? Thank y'all for eating with this hood girl. Thank you for coming back every day. So, come on choir. Let's do what we do. You ready? It's time to say goodbye for now. We have another chance around. On the other side. So whatever you do for this day, including the weekend, should you live, do it good, do it with purpose, and do it with what? Genuine wine love. So, look here, y'all. Y'all know I love you, right?
Peace out.